this is a interesting idea I got going on here. Got one of those uh, Coleman uh, Intex, uh, whatever. This is one company that really makes them all pools and set it up. Turned out we had some pretty bad rocks that were starting to poke through the bottom, so we had to drain everything back out. I saved some water over there. Um, unfortunately, not all 6,000 gallons. And we moved the pool over, and then I had the thought. The ground is always 45 degrees. That's sucking heat out of my pool. And also just to protect from objects in the ground. Obviously this dirt should be good and hard now, but still it settles. Uh, we scraped everything down, got it pretty close to level, maybe dished down a little in the middle. And then what we're doing, I already have my bricks placed for where all the posts go for the metal poles. Kind of see them around the edges there. And what we're doing is we're laying down, I got, I don't know, three quarter inch fo um, foam board and we got some cheapo duct tape here and we're going to lay a layer of this foam board underneath the pool to insulate it from the ground and protect it from anything and that will give us, I'm hoping, a warmer pool, a more protected pool and help level out. This foam is actually what is used underneath foundations to insulate them from the ground if you're going to have a heated uh, cement slab and so that's kind of where I got the idea and I'll let you know as the project goes what happens. See the way it's going uh, starting at the middle I think it's easier to do it that way uh, based on my other foam projects um, and then laying the tape all along the seams and just ensuring that the seams are tight by squeezing it together and just putting you know those squares and then going over them with a long stripe and then just to give you an idea of how I plan on covering it and then I'm going to run more lines of tape nine, uh, perpendicular to the long ones going uh, right to left on your screen. I'm going to do perpendicular going the other way just to help hold everything together. Completely covered as far as the area I wanted. Um, notice here on the ends I kind of sectioned I had one piece, but I found it was easier to cut it into strips to be able to find the dimension over to the edge. Did the same thing over on this side as well, just because it wasn't the full width of a panel. Um, so it's easier to follow the curve of the edge of the pool, and it may not follow it exactly. I'm going to pack dirt along the edge to make up for any anything that might not be s supported by the pool. Some of these foam panels have, uh, if you can see them there, but there's a a score line it's actually cut a little bit on both sides so you can snap it off easily to get straight lines so just to be safe I'm taping those as well uh, crosswise strips as well just trying to make sure everything stays together uh, the only concern I probably have about any of this is if a seam gaps over a dip uh, the pool going down into that gap so that's why I'm doubling up the tape and running the crosswise pieces. And even where it looks like I didn't, I actually ran out of the duct tape. So I went over to, you can see that they're packing tape, clear plastic. It's pretty tough stuff. I don't know if I do this again or if I decide to add more, I may uh, just go with just packing tape. But just to give you an idea. And like I said, I'll pack dirt around the edges going to put a tarp over this as well just to make sure that it also helps reinforce any of the tapes if they end up with a slight gap behind them. Tarp is always a good idea under a pool anyways. And I'll let you know what happens after this. So here we go. Uh, it's an 18 by, I don't know, 20 something foot tarp. So I've folded it back over itself. Figure two layers can't hurt if one's good. But Definitely hoping that from now on there'll be no more issues with rocks poking through. I know uh, Intex and Bestway and Coleman, they're actually all made by Bestway, but um, sold by the rest. Say not to do sand, so I just figure, hey, foam is something I'm really familiar with. If you see my channel, you can look at my kayaks and things like that that I've built with it. That teardrop trailer as well is built out of foam. Uh, just another idea. And I'll let you know how it goes. Try and do an underwater video once we get this thing filled. You can see what it looks like from the inside. It's 
far as where the seams and wrinkles and whatever else might be. Drag the pool back across the grass over onto the tarp and now just reassembling it and setting it in place. Let's just see what it looks like when it's all back in place. The part to focus on is the part with water on it. That's the part you need to make sure doesn't have wrinkles because once the water gets an inch or two deep those wrinkles are going to be permanent so look for any areas where the water is uh, at least an inch deep on those are the wrinkles to work on pulling up you'll never get the thing to lie hundred percent flat until there's a little bit of weight on it and once it's down and flat with water on it it's probably going to stay that way I've just taken leftover dirt that we scraped out and using it to level up the ground and pack down and try and get it as level as possible right along the edge of the foam here. Then we'll put the tarp over it because the pool swells a little around the bottom and this will just keep it from oozing over the edge and putting a bulge in it. And I imagine over the summer this dirt will have grass grow and the lawn will eventually grow right back in there. But one, one way to take care of the edges.